Now let's explore how the lab is gonna operate on a week to week sort of basis. The first question you might have for yourself is, will I have lab partners? And the answer is yes. You will be divided into teams of three and everyone on the team will get the same grade for the lab. Having teams serves two important functions. One, when you're trying to develop and critically think about a procedure, having multiple minds to refine your procedure is always super beneficial. And second, having teams allows the TAs to help all of you much more effectively. You know, instead of 27 students, the TA is managing nine teams, which means they can spend more time with each team. Based upon the research of team formation, I will make the teams. This has been shown in a lot of research to be the most effective way. Note that these lab teams are different and separate from those used in lecture. The lecture teams are opt-in while the teams in lab are required. While I acknowledge that it would be ideal to have the same teams for lecture and lab, there are simply too many variables to make such teams work. And thus you're gonna have a separate team for lecture and lab. The teams will be consistent throughout the series of labs. Before the first lab, you will do a team agreement. And then after each lab, you will do a peer evaluation, resulting in a multiplier for the lab. The first multiplier won't count. It'll be simply for practice so that you can sort of see the process, see how it works. But for each subsequent lab, the multiplier that you earn will be applied to that lab grade. These multipliers are, for the vast majority of people, about equal to one which means you just get the grade of the lab. Uh, if your partners agree that you've really gone above and beyond, you may earn a little bit more than one, not very much. And if you, know, you happen to have a lab partner that didn't really pull their weight, then the peer evaluation is a place you can reflect that and, and indicate that maybe they shouldn't earn full credit for the work that you and your partner did. So that's how the uh, peer evaluation will work. Like I said, you'll get a good sense of this after the first one, which will be just for practice, so you can sort of see how it works. And then for the rest of the semester, they'll be in play.